Hi, welcome to How to Repair. Today I'm going to convert this natural gas hob into running on butane or propane using the manufacturer's conversion kit. If you're wanting to convert your natural gas hob uh, to butane, propane, calagas, whatever, you will need to use the correct conversion kit off the manufacturer, as in the UK most appliances are delivered to consumers uh, set up as natural gas. If you want to run them in a caravan, a mobile home or whatever, you may be using bottle gas, but if this work is needed to be done, you will need to use a gas safe engineer in the UK. Other countries will have governing bodies to control uh, who is allowed to work on gas appliances. Uh, it is very important that this work is always done by a gas safe engineer or equivalently qualified in the country that you're in. Most hobs are able to be converted, but some ovens and cookers might not be able to be converted. So before you buy the appliance that you want to use, make sure you consult with the manufacturer to find out if you are able to run that appliance on bottled gas. This guide is for reference purposes only. All work that you have done on any gas appliance in the household should always be done by a gas safe engineer and always use the correct conversion kits for your gas appliance and follow the instructions very carefully. Right, this gas hob I've connected up to bottled gas but I haven't converted it yet. I wanted to show you what the flames look like if you connected this to bottled gas without actually changing the conversion kit. Now what will happen is the jets on uh, bottled gas are much smaller than the jets on natural gas. Therefore the flame will be out of control and unsafe. So I'll just quickly show you this. And as you can see, uh, I'm just waiting for the flame safety device to heat up so I can let go of the sparker. This flame has got a lot of yellow. It's too big a flame. It's really out of control. And this is because the jet size is too big. What we need to do is take all the top of the cooker off and then I'll show you how to change a couple of the jets. So the first thing that needs to be done is you need to remove the griddles off the cooker and put them into a safe place. These are cast iron and do not drop them, they are quite fragile. They will crack but they do last forever. The next thing you need to do is remove the burner caps. So in this video I'm just going to replace these two. You need to remove the burner cap then you need to remove the burner head. This will then give you access to the jet. I'll just take these two off as well because I'm only going to change these two in this video for you. So let me explain. This is the electronic spark igniter and before doing any work on the appliance, because this is powered by mains electric, disconnect the electric from the electricity supply. So this is the spark igniter which uh, basically chucks a spark across to the burner head and this is what lights the gas. Next we have the FSD. This is a flame safety device. Now when you turn your hob on, the flame will come on while you hold the knob down. But if you release the knob immediately, the flame will go out. This is because this has not got to temperature. It normally takes 5-10 seconds for this to get to temperature while holding the knob down. Inside here, you can see the jet. So to actually change the jet, we need a 7mm socket. We need to go down, undo the jet and unscrew it. Now because it's quite deep down there you won't get your fingers in so I always use a pair of pin nose pliers and lift the jet out. Now on this jet, this jet was a 0 0.76 jet. The one the manufacturer says on this hob to fit is a 0 0.51. Sometimes I would use gas sealant on the threads on this just to make a good fitting, but this is a new hob, so I'm just going to show you how to do this. When putting the jet down, 
carefully and softly do, do it up just so it sits in the threads make sure you do not cross thread the jet as that would be catastrophic then do the jet up till it's hand tight and just a little nip now I'm going to reassemble this one for you so you can see how it burns differently I've just turned the lights off for you so we can actually see what the actual flame pattern is on this uh, burner. Now we've changed the jet over from a 7 point, uh, 0 0.76 to a 0 0.51 and we'll just light it and as you can see the flame is a nice controlled flame there's a little touch of yellow on the edges which is normal for blue uh, for bottled gas and uh, propane uh, butane uh, and we can turn it right down and the gas is fully controlled much more room in this because it's a larger well undo the jet again I wouldn't be able to get my fingers down in there lift the old jet out the natural gas jet on this medium-sized burner is a 0 0.97 and we'll be replacing this with a 0 0.65 as according to the manufacturer and again just holding the jet here sorry that one's still hot and dropping this down making sure not to cross thread it And taking up hand tight and just a nip and then I'll reassemble the burner head and put the cap on I'll turn the lights off for you and as you can see now this is completely under control compared to the other one I've put this diagram up for you now on the screen to show you how the differences are between the A, B and C flame patterns. I hope this is informative for you and so you understand. I've also uh, finished doing the gas hob now and as you can see I'll just demonstrate all the flames now. are working perfectly we've got a good wok burner the small the medium and the rapid there you go I hope you found this video informative please remember to subscribe to the channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these videos for you and if we really helped you you can always click on the bipolar beer page if you have other problems with your appliances please remember in the website we have hundreds and hundreds of tutorials and we're now running live shows a couple of times a month with questions and answers. Thanks very much indeed for watching.